Hey, what's going on? How's it going there? Yeah, um, all right, so there's a new Metallica song and that's a pretty big deal because they're like, you know, pretty much like the biggest metal band in the world. And uh, they got a new album coming out and uh, Metallica is a band that has tons and tons of diehards, okay? Like rightfully so. I myself am somebody who, I think that you'll appreciate this sort of like rundown. If you haven't heard the song, yet like or if you have and you know you're just looking to hear somebody else's take on it I think I'm probably a pretty good like source of that because I'm not a diehard okay I'm not a diehard Metallica fan like I'm not a hater also you know I like them I don't love them I don't hate them either but eh. so all right like I wanted to give it a full day to see what I thought as somebody again who's not like a diehard Metallica devotee or something like that Right? As a metalhead, I, I, you know, I'm qualified to some degree to give, you know, my thoughts here and everything to somebody. That's what it is. That's what it is. To give my thoughts to somebody that maybe isn't so much in the know with Metallica. You know, they're not like a huge fan. Maybe they're they're trying to learn about them. Fucking dude, I don't know, man. Like, whatever. So this is a really, really easily approachable. Yeah, it's very, very like radio friendly. It's very like commercial it's upbeat it's like hit the lights or so what you know if that was Metallica's song they kind of own that now though you know or even fuel you know like it's like that kind of thing and like I could easily see this song being played inside like a Chuck E. Cheese you know <laughs> like some kind of like kid, parent friendly sort of environment where like some like mom, she hears the music, she's kind of like going like that. She doesn't know it's Metallica and doesn't really care frankly because it's just some kind of like fun sort of song that's on in the background and I could hear it in like at a football game or I could also hear it like being played over the PA in between bands at like you know the stadium tour with with Motley Crue and, and Def Leppard and like somebody's there it's like an older guy he might not know Metallica but like he hears the song and like you know he likes it he shazams it and everything the next thing you know he's like oh yeah I like that Lux Eterna song. Ah, it's those Metallica guys, you know, or whatever, I don't know. So yeah, it's just a, it's a, it's a really fun, friendly sounding, yeah, metal song, I guess you might say. Yeah. And like, I want to say this, right? Those are not supposed to be like negative criticisms, like at all, like not by any stretch, because you know what? I like the song a lot. It's got everything that I personally like in a song. It's pretty catchy. It's got a good, sort of like hookish type of melody and everything. Let me uh, fucking now yeah, just play like a quick snippet here just to kind of give you the idea of like That's pretty cool, you know that like double bass thing, you know and like See what I mean? See, it's got that kind of like hit the lights thing, you know? All right, I don't know how like crazy Metallica is about their copyright stuff, so I'm just gonna like end it right. Oh, fuck, actually, hold on. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn it up for a second, like for another second real quick, and I bet you it'll be at some part with a, hold on. Yeah. Can you see like the mom kind of like, you know, <laughs> something like that? I can, I can, you know? Again, I'm not knocking it, and I, yeah, man, so, yeah, that's not a criticism at all. Like I said, I mean, Metallica is a band that I think at this point in their career is like above criticism, okay? And that's that's a really big thing for somebody like me to say because again, I am not like a diehard, right? I would like, I would fight to defend that opinion for some of my favorite bands knowing that maybe there's room to like criticize certain aspects of like their career today or their output or something like that. But I just think with Metallica though, those dudes, there's a lot of bands out there that, yes, of course, they have diehards. They have followers that will follow them through the gates of hell and everything, right? But Metallica has that, and they have a lot of them. And, like, it's because they're, what you know, what they put out there, these people love it, and they keep paying to finance, you know, their, their creative work 
and the people are happy to cough up their money for their you know these awesome concert tours but like the main thing with Metallica, with Metallica though is it's fucking music right all right whatever so I don't know man I just like I can't really think of like a ton of stuff to, to really like shit on Metallica for I truly can there was a time where like I would have loved to because I was jealous of them right because some of my favorite bands weren't nearly as active or like in touch with the fans and Metallica just every time you turn around they're putting this new fucking like off the soundboard release out and I was just like enough already you know really I was just jealous you know but if you're like if you're a fan though you of course you like you love that stuff you know so anything I've said that could be construed as like negative should not be taken that way in fact it should be it's the other way it's major compliments the video is pretty cool too it's just like kind of flickery sort of lasery type special effects sort of thing and like I started watching it and I was like oh cool I was getting myself ready for like another one of those really like big budget sort of things like um like I remember they used to do back in the day what was that Metallica song that was like a uh, Hey, 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 <laughs> you know, like, what is that song? Um, I think that had like a pretty like big budget behind it. Or like uh, King Nothing, that was another one. They're like, that was a pretty elaborate video of Memory Serves. They're like out in the snow or something like that. But like, that's the thing though. See, I'm getting ready for that, right? I'm getting ready for that. And it's not that. It pretty much stays that whole kind of like flickery kind of lightning kind of thing. And it changed. It's mostly blue in the beginning of the video and then it like changes colors and stuff so it's really cool it's really cool I was just kind of like uh, I was hoping to see something like their old videos and yeah, it would make me feel nostalgic and then you know like bring me back and maybe even a little bit sad but but you know what though it was also one of those things where where you think in your head it's like you step outside yourself and you're like if you felt like that once before then you can feel like that again you know what I'm saying even though I bet like if I was to like flash back to that point in my life I probably would have been like wicked like angsty some kind of like angsty teen Maybe just some kind of like a punk or something, you know a real punk ass type. I don't know So it's like all right if you're the type of metal fan Where you know the only thing you're gonna listen to or accept is like, you know bathtub shitter you know, <laughs> or Like um, anything from like Seth Putnam any of his projects or something yeah, you're probably not gonna be all that like enthused about this song. You probably won't even care, right? And that's, and that's okay too, you know? There was a time when I was like that as well, where it was like, if it's not mortician, if it's not buzz oven, if it's not uh, marauder, get it the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that kind of thing. I try to span like some all the major kind of extreme genres there and everything. Uh, some of them at least. Yeah! And so, uh, yeah, it's, again, like, if you're one of those real fucking meddlers, right, whatever the hell that means, but you know what I mean, you might not be all that into it, even though, like, all right, here's a thought I had, okay, take this song and kind of, like, shit up the production a little bit, right, scale it back or, or muddy it up or something like that, or, like, make it sound just, like, old, like, right? really, really old, right, I honestly... I think that if you were to like take away, yeah, so if you were to like, you know, shit up the production, right? And then take take the four faces off the musician. Wait, is that how many guys, or how many people are in the James, Lars, Kirk, and um, fucking, what's his name? Um, Robert, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So four. Yeah, so like take their faces away, like strip them off like the bodies and replace them with that which I will reveal in a second. And give these guys, like give them a bunch of coke and meth to like speed things up, right? And uh, you know who I could hear playing a song like this? Call me crazy? I could hear a band like Witchfinder General playing it. I could, I could. It's just like, I think Witchfinder, I think, I think Metallica cites Witchfinder as um, like influence of theirs, I think. I think I've seen James wearing um, like a patch on his vest, a Witchfinder General patch. But uh, I don't know, man. Like I could hear it. There's probably like plenty of other bands that get tons and tons of respect from just real like metal motherfuckers. You know, <laughs> you know the types I'm talking about. So yeah, I mean it's like pretty much it. Um, final verdict. It's I think it's a good song. You know, I've listened to it probably about five thousand times today. Not because I'm like that hooked on it, but just because like you know I want to I want to make sure that, like any kind of a, a, a wrap up that I gave of it a rundown or something like that was not just like my fucking reaction like 
me listening to the song and like initial thoughts or something like that. I don't know. I think I, I think videos like that are stupid. You know, that's no offense to anybody that makes them. I just I don't know. I don't watch them. But yeah. All right. Well. So I don't know, man. You know, if you like the video, maybe you'll give it a like. And um, if you just if you like hearing somebody bullshit about metal, <laughs> clearly, um, cool, man. We'll hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah. All right. We'll stay metal.